Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about a bunch of leaks and some interesting ones that I think you guys will be interested in in regards to Kara and potentially mon -El and some more stuff. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Alright, so we got a lot to talk about. There is a lot of notes that I have in front of me right now. We found out some interesting things that I think a lot of you probably are unaware of. And I wanted to bring you into the know and break it down for you. So, first things first, remember, live streams are changed this week. It's going to be on a Tuesday instead of a Thursday. So, please be sure to tune into that. Also, it might be on Eric's stream on the Tuesday as well. So, yeah, that is what I wanted to bring up at first, and now, without further ado, let's go into the main topic. So, the first bit I want to talk about is the Nick guy. Nick, who was cast a while ago, everyone made a big deal out of it, and it turned out he was just playing a bartender. He was in one episode, he shot for like a day or two, and then, you know, he wasn't back. But, big surprise. Alright, so the Nick guy is back. And it's a little bit surprising because, you know, he was playing a bartender in that one episode and he seems to have returned for the next episode, Kyla's episode, episode 6, because they just wrapped that this week. So that was the final episode because they wrapped yesterday on the 18th because they are wrapping on December 18th, coming back on January 18th. That's what the schedule up in Vancouver is. And so, yeah, Nick apparently came back yesterday and filmed for one day seemed like he wasn't aware that he was going to be asked to come back, but he was asked to return. And yeah, so it seems he was unaware of that at first. And so, yeah, Kyla wrapped up her episode yesterday, and that is the day he came back. And so he posted a few things on Instagram, and number one, it's interesting because this kind of goes against some of the theories I'm going to go and talk about in a minute, but his chair says cast still on it, and that means he doesn't have his name there. Most of the time that means they're not such an important character because they normally have a name. So that's one red flag. However, it is interesting that he wasn't aware of him being asked to come back. So what happens if the writers, and they have done this before, what happens if they flagged up the interest in his casting and they are going to make more of a deal out of it? So when I was told that he came back earlier today, I was like, this is interesting, this really gives me Mystery Girl vibes from The Flash, you know, when Nora first showed up in Season 4, was playing random characters, just popped up out of nowhere, and then we were like, this is interesting, and it kind of gives me similar vibes, so I'm presuming, and I'm just going to theorize here, what happens if the writers took interest in this, or the showrunners, and they were like, yeah, let's bring him back, Maybe Kyla saw some stuff online and she was like, yeah, we could do something with this. So I'm going to incorporate him into this episode. And maybe he is at a bar because he is supposed to be a bartender. And maybe he seems to be bumping into our characters quite a few times. Kind of like the mystery girl did in season four. So what do you guys think about that? Do you think that is possible? And considering there was all the massive speculation online, as in regards to who he is playing, and then it came out that he was no one that important, or as far as we know, and we had no idea he would return for another episode, but again, he only shot for a day, but when you think of Mystery Girl and what Jessica Parker Kennedy shot, she would only film like a day at a time, so again, that's kind of similar, and it kind of brings up a flag for me, and I'm like, hmm, is there something more to this? We'll have to wait and see, but yeah, that is crazy, and you know, the main theories were, this is Kara and one hour's child, who is come back from the future, and potentially this may link into what people are speculating is the end of the season, which will be maybe Kara going to the future, and one hour showing up, obviously, and staying together there, and also there is big speculation in regards to Chris returning, I'm going to be breaking that down in a few days, because I kind of got some more stuff that I want to talk about, and I'm pretty certain Chris is going to be coming back at least a couple of times in this season, maybe just once, but maybe more than once. So, yeah, anyway, that's my theories as of right now as to Nick coming back, so that's interesting. 
please let me know in the comments down below what do you think about all of this because it's very curious. And now let's move on to the next bit. So this is more leaks that we need to talk about. So this is for 605 and 606. Those are the final two episodes they shot before they went on break yesterday. And all signs are heading towards that both of those episodes, episode 5 and 6, are going to be a two-part episode. And so it was curious because Kyla was working on her episode, but apparently she only shot for a week and a half for her episode before the 18th. And, you know, she was working on it before, and I think the big flag in regards to this was that Isabella Vidovic and Olivia Nakanen, who play young Kara and Alex, were in Vancouver for the whole time that they were shooting that, and they weren't even in quarantine, they've been there for a long time, and they are actually listed on episode 5 as well. So it's interesting, is there going to be a two-part mid veil episode? Because we're pretty certain Melissa is going to be absent from at least two episodes this season and I think it would be best done if she is missing that we would be in a mid -Vale flashback episode because then you would have young Kara and Alex who are different versions but you wouldn't need Melissa there. So yeah that's interesting it seems like we are heading up to maybe a two part episode for episode 5 and 6. Let's break down some more in regards to those episodes and what happened and what we know. So the majority of the mid -Vale episode is either going to be a flashback Possibly time travel because Nia and Brainy are involved somehow because they were on the set when they were shooting that, that being Nicole Maines and Jesse Raff. But it's probably less likely it's going to be time travel. I've got a theory as to why Nia and Brainy may be around. And at the same time, you have, you know, Isabella and Olivia shooting with young Kara and Alex. So my theory is it's going to be a flashback, but also a present day episode where they cut between the two at the same spots. And so it seems like Crisis on Infinite Earths may have been an effect on what's going to happen in this episode. Because they just recast a kind of big character from the old mid -fail episode. And they are bringing back the kid, that being Kenny Lee, who was Kara's high school best friend. Who we got to see in that mid -fail flashback episode, who got killed by a cop in that episode. And so he is back, and he is older. He is a lot older. So... Why would he be old if he was in a flashback episode while well, the actor is like mid-twenties? The last time we saw him and he would be the same age as young Kara and Alex, he would have been a teenager. So they've cast an actor called Peter Adrian, I'm pretty sure. And so he was on Jesse Raff's Instagram post a few weeks ago, like a story. And he's followed by a few of them and so it seems like he's playing a different version of Kenny Lee. That's why it said Crisis on Infinite Earths because they got a theory that he survived and they are investigating it in present day somehow I don't know Nia and Brainy get drawn to Midvale and somehow they are intertwining the flashbacks with the present day stuff rather than doing time travel stuff which we kind of theorized about a bit last time we talked about this because now we got more information it seems more likely this is going to be a flashback but also present day episode also Kenny's mum is listed in the episode so Maybe that's the flashbacks we see with young Kara and Alex talking to Kenny's mum. And then, you know, in this new version of the timeline, you would see him in the present day being older. Around the right age to match what Kyla Lee and Melissa Benoist look like in real life and what age they actually are. And so, yeah, that's interesting in regards to that. And as in regards to Melissa, like I said, she's going to be absent for at least two episodes, it seems most likely to be in these mid -vale flashback episodes, which is potentially a two-parter. All signs lead towards it's going to be a two-parter. And so apparently they've shot all that they could for episode one till up to episode six with, you know, all the other cast members and everything they need to do. And all they need to do is go back and film Melissa's scenes. And obviously they mark that down because, you know, that's the whole idea of films and television sets. They actually don't shoot their episodes in order. And, you know, their scenes in order, so they will not go chronologically. So it's not a big deal if they have to go back and they have all the rushes. They've got all the, you know, footage that they can look back upon. And I'm sure they have loads of notes for when Melissa comes. You know, they will have apparently a two to three week period where she will be going back and filming those scenes. And so, you know, you would have some other cast members join in. So it wouldn't just be Melissa. And, you know, hopefully it looks real. So... 
it just seems like there will be a few episodes where Melissa is absent and she will have a catch up period. So she won't be absent for like six episodes which they have filmed up to for now. And that would be a big deal if she was gone for the first six episodes of the season. Obviously they're not going to do that and all signs point to she's going to be back, she's going to be filming for some of those episodes according to some sources. And so Melissa will return to Vancouver around January 4th we know. You know, she could return, give or take a few days before, but not after. And that's due to her having to quarantine for two weeks. That is mandatory, going from the United States to Canada. And that is because shooting resumes for Supergirl Season 6, January 18th. And, well, it starts with Melissa on January 18th. And she will be there on that day. So the 4th gives her exactly two weeks, and I'm saying give or take, because I reckon they're going to have New Year probably in LA and then they will probably head down to Vancouver most likely going by car I'm just presuming because you know they've got Huxley and everything and I'm guessing it's not the safest to fly by plane so yeah it's not too long of a trip it's like a day trip but it seems like give or take a few days she's gonna be back at the start of January and so we should be seeing some stuff from Melissa very soon she's been training recently for her return as Supergirl and she will have the Christmas break and then you know she'll head up after new year so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like and a comment subscribe if you're new turn on notifications share the videos with your friends also remember for all of you regulars on the live stream it's not going to be thursday this week or the next week because it's christmas eve and also new year's eve so please be sure to come on the tuesday instead so this tuesday and next tuesday is going to be the live streams please be sure to come back for that or if you've never been on one of our live streams we just talk you guys join in you ask me questions and i answer it live it's face cam and everything so hopefully you guys can be there on tuesday night around 9 p.m uk time translate that to your time zone so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you guys later goodbye I see room.